disagreement. So you and somebody here weren't on the same page. And you felt misunderstood by this person. And this person, I feel like they just fought you tooth and nail, to be quite honest. You know, it's like you could be sitting in the same room with this person and you feel so distant and far away from them. It's like it, it's a bit of an indivi divisive energy. Even if you live with this person, if, if you don't live with this person and you're not even with them anymore, then this is a situation when you were together, there was a communication barrier. This person didn't try to understand or see anything from your point of view. I feel like they're missing, like <laughs> wishing, missing you and wishing they understood how you felt. It's like you were trying to explain how you felt to this person over and over again. And it's like it never got through their head. The two of you could have had like a special um, place that you would go have lunch or brunch and kick your feet back on Saturdays or Sundays or like the weekend when the two of you would be off and you weren't working. That could just be for somebody here specific. You definitely feel a strong soul tie to this person. And there was a lot of valuable lessons learned during this, I feel like during and after, right? This person has learned a valuable lesson too, but I feel like they're so stubborn. They, This is somebody here who doesn't want to be wrong. Yeah, look at this. Disagreements. Remember I was saying earlier, it's like the energy of like, this person didn't understand you. And then boom, there goes that understanding. It's like you were really understanding with this person. When it was time for them to tell you how they how they felt about a situation, you were open, you were honest, you were vulnerable. You did everything that you could to re to understand this person's perspective and their point of view. But when it came to you conveying how you felt, this person was like, oh, no, I don't really get it. Or that's the energy that I'm seeing here. And now this person, the, the, the lesson that this person has learned, unfortunately, now that you, I feel like some of y'all have cut cords with this person, you're no longer in contact. Or again, if the two of you are at a dis disconnect right now, they're seeing your side of the story. I feel like you stopped talking. You stopped talking to this. Oh gosh, there, somebody here was dealing with a third party. Huh. Now, third party could be anybody, okay? This could be a family member, a friend. This could be your person listening. Okay, for some of y'all, this person listened to everybody else's opinions. They understood what everybody else, how everybody else felt, everybody else's opinions and perspectives. But when it came to you, they didn't, they didn't try to get it. They listen to other people before they listen to you. And, and that they, of those other people got in the way of this connection. Yeah. No. Now this person is like really, really regretting not listening to you and taking the time and the care and the love and the patience to understand you and actually hear you out instead of just like, you know how they say active listening, right? People, um, are you really listening to hear? Are you listening to respond? And it's like this person is now stressing out. They're feeling drained because they listen to other people. Now they're like really over overwhelmed with emotions here. Yeah, you really made this person see themselves. You made this person realize their flaws. You did. Show me more here. Ooh, what was that? Hold on. Gossip? Gossip. Listen, there is some gossip going on here. This person listened to other people, okay? Whether this other people was friends, family members, or a third party, they listened to somebody other than you. And I feel like that's the theme around this reading here. And now this person is heartbroken because they're having to see this from a different side now. And they're seeing they were wrong is what it is. And now this person wants to fix it. Is it too late? You know, is it too late? Yeah, this person is dreaming about you and yearning and longing for you. They really miss you here and they want your forgiveness. They're hoping that you will um, let go of the past and forgive them for the past. Wow, they're struggling here. They feel like they've let too much time go past before they apologized to you or took any form of action. So you haven't talked to this person. You haven't heard from them. And they sure as heck have, have not admitted this and for those of you who you know maybe some people maybe some of y'all they did admit it but for those of you this person didn't admit they're really overwhelmed 
somebody could have gone to confession here or is praying asking for forgiveness praying that you'll hear them out praying that you'll hear them you'll answer the phone that you'll communicate with them show me more here oh what was that mask energy hiding their true feelings pretending gaslighting personifying so this person is hiding how they feel about you they're hiding that they were wrong because they haven't for most of y'all this person hasn't admit it to this right they haven't even they're having trouble admitting this to themselves yeah i definitely feel like there was a bunch of gaslighting here and like again when the two of you would try to communicate and talk you have these disagreements i feel like it's all over because they didn't really like want to admit they were wrong show me more here yeah, they didn't want to admit they were wrong. This person was in denial. They would try to escape and delude from from any form of accountability here. This is you're dealing with a runner, somebody running from their emotions, somebody running from how they feel. This is why it was so easy for them to listen to everybody except for you. Because they didn't want to feel that love. They didn't know how to accept it. Self-indulgence here. Look at this. Self-worth. The reason this person was quick to listen to other people. It's because they're self-worth and they just have a lot of shadow work they need to do. They have a lot of things that they need to heal. Um, Somebody was tempted by a third party here. Male or female. This card says, girl with a snake, charmed or used, enable boundaries. Unconditional love, giving and receiving fairness and love and affection in return. This person, I feel like, didn't return that affection and love to you they gave it to somebody else and possibly a girl or, or a man with a snake okay somebody here who is untrustworthy here this could also be your person being a gaslighter or i mean personifying it right one minute this person's real nice to you the next minute they're charming you and they're using you and you have to set boundaries with them just apply it where it resonates show me more here but for a lot of y'all, I feel like this person had a third party for sure. But there was also some other people, like some friends or some family members, somebody they were close to who they listened to their advice more than they listened. They care more about what those people had to say and think than you. And so, and the part of that issue is because this person has some form of outdated thinking. Like their old ways, they don't want to change their ways. They refuse to do that. Oh, somebody got backstabbed and somebody's at some third heartbroken energy here. Somebody was uh, someone very, gee, somebody was lied to here. Somebody here is grieving a loss. Somebody's in a lot of heartache. I don't know who this is. Coffin. Okay. Tragic endings, breakup, grieving, despair, feeling lost, deeply sad, heartbreak, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, lies, shocking attack. Let me find out who this is real quick. Um, that's in all this awful energy. I mean, it could be this girl with the snake, this third party who's caused all this karmic energy here. Who is this person that backstabbed? Who is this backstabbing energy here? Let's see. Somebody who they could have been in a commitment with. Somebody from the past. I feel like this is somebody they're holding on to from the past that they could have had a partnership with. Because we had engagement ring in reverse. So, and then we have healing heart. Toxic, toxicity or addiction, abusive relationship. So somebody here was in a, is in a, was or is in an abusive connection here, and they ended that. I hopefully this wasn't you. Hopefully this wasn't you. Shock, sudden change, shocking events, surprise, transformation. So somebody, ooh, somebody could have been very well been married here, or in a connection with somebody like they were had been with for a long time. Uh, Show me who this is. Was uh was this person who is this person that backstabbed? Is this a collective that was backstabbed? 
I feel like this is your person being backstabbed. Yeah, Gemini. Somebody could be a Gemini here. That was backstabbed and now they're in regret. Okay, suffering from a loss. There could be a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. So whoever backstabbed them, they're regretting it. Or they backstabbed you, they're regretting backstabbing you now. They know it's over. Or this person, if they chose a third party, they were backstabbed by this third party. And now they're like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have listened to the collective. I wish I would have did the right thing when I was with the collective. Now look at what the situation that I've gotten myself into. I've taught, I've listened to everybody except for my heart and my intuition. That's the truth. That's the truth. The truth is being revealed to this person. They could be a Leo, the sun card. Yeah. So the truth was revealed to somebody and now they're in this healing energy like, oh my gosh, I need to heal. I need to sit down somewhere or that could have been you, you know. Show me more here. About this situation. Yeah. This person is regretting every, they have a lot of drama. Somebody could have gone to jail. There's a lot of drama here behind this situation. There was a big fight that someone here could have punched somebody in the face and gone to jail. I don't, this is crazy. It says prickly situation, bad reputation. Somebody here that has a bad reputation for like, they could be dealing with the karmic who, a third party who is known for like getting upset and like destroying somebody's property or somebody here could also have like a background um, they've gone been to jail before or they have like a rap sheet, you know, like this isn't the first time they've been to jail or whatnot. Um, whatever is going on, the situation is played out. That's how you feel uh, or this person feels like their situation with this third party is played out. And that's why they're in this heartbroken coffin energy here. Also, somebody may have caught an STD. Weird. I, yeah, somebody could, has a rash or uh, has to go to the doctor. There's a lot going on here. Show me more. So somebody went to the doctor and the jail. <laughs> or they went to jail and then they had to go see medics. See the nurse. Show me more. Somebody could be a nurse. Also, too, in this situation. You know what's so crazy? You show this person unconditional love and this person is burdened with this third party. They are burdened with this third party. They may have even gotten this third party pregnant. Interesting. For some of you guys, you might even be expecting a child. This person is feeling super overwhelmed with all the drama going on in their life right now. A lot of y'all have moved on. You've moved physically. You've relocated. You moved out of the home. You purchased a new home. You sold a home here. And you're just starting a new life and you're not even really concerned about this person. And you could even have moved on with another uh, person and be, be happy and be um, expecting. And... This person is angry and upset with you and, and now they want to retaliate here. This person is doing a lot of reflecting right now. They're reflecting on all the good love that you gave them, all the genuine, unconditional love that you showed them. Okay. But this person made some bad choices. I'm telling you, they made some really bad choices and they know they're going to have to stop that. They know they're going to have to release and stop this. But they continue to do it. They continue to do it. Spirit is telling you, sit. there's going to be something where somebody here is going to sit back and watch the show. Grab your popcorn, grab your tea, your candy, whatever it is here. You're about to be watching this drama or you're going to hear about this drama from, the, from afar. There is some competition here, a girl fight, a physical fight. I definitely feel like somebody here is energy is here who wants to is upset with you and somebody wants revenge, some, a little bit of jealousy. Um, but competition, they could have even tried to put you in competition. Yeah, they did. They were like, they thought they were going to go back and forth in between you and this other person. Undecided energy. I don't know what I want. I don't know who I want. Okay, fine. And I feel like you were like, well... I'm just going to take a step back. 
I don't have anything to say. I'm not going to be put in competition. You released it and you let it go. And now this is person is realizing because they've got all this drama over here with this other situation that you got away. So now they're looking at you like, oh my gosh, she got away. He got away. What? Like, yeah. Show, show me the collective's energy right now. What's the collective's current energy? Not saying anything, high priestess energy, not saying a word. You're quiet. You're quiet. Show me the collective's current energy. You knew this would happen. You probably warned this person. Show me the collective's energy. The hermit in reverse. Show me the collective's energy. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. Show me this Hermit in reverse. Okay, you're just holding back here. That's what this is. You're not saying anything. You're holding back. You tried to warn this person. You feel like you had to lead this person out in the cold here. Five of Pentacles. You, you warned this person. You warned this person that... You were going to have to leave them out in the cold. You didn't want to. Show me the collective's current energy. I feel like if this person betrayed you, you're over it. You're finally over it. You're in this empress energy and you're finally over it. You healed. This person left you, abandoned you, left you in an uncompromising position. But you're over it. Yeah, they left you stressing out, you guys. Nine of swords. It hurt you to realize this. You could, because you love them, two of cups, this page of swords energy. You may have found out some information, some whatever this was that you found out could have been about this third party, you know, through the grapevine. Um, show me this empress energy. Clarify the empress. You could be a Taurus, a Pisces, a Virgo, or a Leo. Show me the empress. The wheel is over. You're moving on. You're moving on to bigger and better things. Yeah, show me the Empress energy, please. So that's why this person feels like you're the one who got away. Yeah, you're in you're you're in your bag, you're in your purpose, you're focused on yourself, you're nurturing yourself, you know you're worth and you know your value. Queen of Pentacles, male or female, it doesn't matter. You've just moved on. This is above you. Well, you're above this. You're above this. Yeah, you're rebuilding a new life somewhere else. You're disappointed in this situation, but you're rebuilding somewhere else. Show me this other person's energy. Let's see what this masculine. Show me this masculine's current energy here. And there we go, the emperor. Show me this masculine's energy. So now we have the empress and the in, in, emperor out here. Show me this masculine's energy. The sun card, Leo. Show me this masculine's energy. Knight of Swords. Where is this where is this masculine going? Oh, this might be somebody new. We'll see. Nine of Cups with the King of Cups. So this they're going to get their wish fulfillment. I could tell you that. Somebody's rushing and running to go get their wish fulfillment. So the runner who ran away now wants to come back and get their wish fulfillment because this is what they're realizing. It's like this aha moment, like, oh my gosh, I love the collective. I need the collective. But you're in this queen of swords energy, like, no, thank you. No, thank you. But this, this masculine is like, I want to go get my wish fulfillment. I want to go get my person. Show me this emperor's energy. Ooh. The moon, cancer energy. Show me this emperor's energy. Two of pentacles, emperor, the six of wands. Somebody has made their decision. Look at this. You Okay, two of cups and the king of swords. I'm going to say this because this is what I'm getting. I feel like the past person 
the person who broke your heart and did all this and is getting their karma. They, the runner, they want to come back. They want to circle the block and come back and get their wish fulfillment because now they're in this emotional energy and they're feeling overwhelmed with their life and they need you, okay? But also, too, do they love you? Yes, but just be mindful of that and use your discernment for those of you who are interested in this person when they come back around. Now, I'm going to tell you this, too. I feel like there's a new energy coming in for you, like another masculine who's not in this toxic energy, I feel like. Because this emperor came out of right with the sun card. So I feel like y'all are going to have to decide. What are you going to do? You're going to have to decide in between the old and the new. Okay, the past person who broke your heart, who lied to you, put you in a third party situation, who was living in their ego. You have a soulmate coming in here, a new person. Yeah. Okay. The new person is going to listen to you they're going to show up they're showing up as the king of cups this is somebody in touch with their emotions they're not toxic keep that in mind that you may have two people yeah you're if you're going to be in your head a little bit here okay because you still love this past person um um you could be dealing with an aries an air sign a water sign here, a Pisces, Leo, strong Leo, Taurus, Virgo, okay, or any zodiac sign, but that's what I have here. Y'all hit the like button. I'll see you later. Bye.